7 worst pull up mistakes most beginners make that should never be made. Learn how to fix those mistakes right now to learn how to do correct pull up form and accelerate your back muscles growth. Welcome back to Red Drill. My name is Bogdan Harenka. Let's get started. Firstly, let's find out the reasons why you should learn correct pull up form and what's the benefits of it. Faster muscles growth. Because of correct form, you feel your muscles much better, you improve your muscle connection and uh, therefore your muscles start to grow much faster. There is a quote, if you can contract, feel and squeeze the target muscle, it will definitely grow. And this is our primal goal for today's video, learn correct pull-up form to learn how to contract the target muscles. So this is Dorsey there is minor, there is major and biceps. Thirdly, avoiding injury. Let's face it, doing the exercise properly, there is no chance to get injury. Therefore, I will show you different nuances that you should definitely understand to avoid injury for the rest of your life. Fixing asymmetry, when one hand is stronger than the other. This is common mistake between beginners when you start do pull-ups, one arm is stronger than the other and you feel this because you're going to one side and it looks pretty strange. We will fix it this right now and I will show you how. Faster progress in pull-ups progressions. So you will learn the correct pull-up form to progress further to the next variations of pull-ups. Explosive pull-ups, muscle-ups, whatever you want. Okay, the first mistake is underuse of back muscles. Or in other words, rounding your back at the top. The point is, when you round your back at the top doing pull-up, you don't engage your back muscles as much as it possible. So what's the final result of such pull-ups? You round your back at the top, you don't engage back muscles, target muscles, and your elbows go forward. This is the most common mistake between beginners and this is how you can fix this. The first step is straighten your back as much as you can and then when you pull yourself up, don't move with your elbows forward so that they don't wander. Fix them in one position and from here you pull. So as you can see, your back is straight, your elbows don't wander, it's fixed in one position and you perform the best pull-up ever, touching, striving to touch the bar with your chest. Alright, the second mistake is asymmetry. As I mentioned previously, this is when your one arm is stronger than the other and you pull with this other arm. So the solution is very simple. It's each time when you notice that you're going to one side, it's just be get back to the center. You pull yourself up, you move into the side and you get back to the center. And this is will fix this problem over time, over time. This is just the matter of reps. If you do pull-ups frequently, removing this mistake, it will be fixed anyway over time. So each time you notice you go to the side, get back to the center and engage your other arm. The third mistake is short range of motion. There are a lot of reasons why you can make this mistake. First of all is lack of strength and you just work in this range of motion because you can go higher and you can go lower. You just fixed in the middle and you do this because of your lack of strength. Fully stretch your latissimus dorsi and fully contract them. If we are talking about correct pull-up form and building your back muscles, then this is absolutely necessary to do this exercise strictly vertically. Because all these swinging movements are just meaningless. I even called this mistake crossfit technique because the most important thing in this discipline is speed. Complete the specific set, specific circle as fast as you can. But here outside doing bodyweight workouts, the most important thing is feeling your muscles and doing the exercise properly without rushing. We don't focus on speed. We focus on muscle connection, muscle growth and progressive overload. The fifth mistake is losing control over the movement, neglecting concentric and eccentric phases. I just want to let you know that concentric part of the motion is shortening the muscle and eccentric one is when you stretch it and it's get, it gets longer. And the losing control over the movement, it means don't be focused on these phases, you just aimlessly pull yourself up and down. That's it. Each phase of a lift represents a unique opportunity to stimulate your muscles for increases in strength and growth. 
So it would be just amazing pulling yourself up for two seconds and going down also for two seconds. With this technique, you improve your muscle connection and you get used to doing the exercise slowly, feeling the muscles and because of it, it will grow. And in addition, you learn the correct form. The same also I can say about dips, about push-ups. If you want to learn some kind of movement, just do it slowly. Be focused on concentric and eccentric parts of it. For example, you want to get better in push-ups. You can use this technique as well. Just go down for two seconds and then back up also for two seconds. Improve just these phases slowly. Okay, the next mistake is doing only one variation of pull-ups. The problem is when you do only one variation of pull-up for a long period of time, your body gets used to this. And there are no progressions, no challenges for your muscles. It means you're just wasting your time. Brother, definitely watch this video with the 7 best pull-up variations to diverse your workouts and hit your muscles utilizing different angles, grips and width. And the last, 7 mistake is wrong grip. And the last. And the last seven mistake is wrong grip. It means that thinking about which grip is better, it's useless. Right now, I'm going to talk with you about wide pull-ups. Check this out. Close grip. I'm doing wide pull-up and just look at my wrist. It's just bending as fuck. You see? And the solution to this is just put your thumb up right here. And this is more safe position for your wrists. And this technique is only about wide pull-ups. If you do regular pull-ups, then it doesn't matter. You can take this grip, this grip, chin-ups, whatever. But if you do wide pull-ups, it's absolutely necessary to put your thumb up like this. Don't do this because, because it's getting your wrist in a dangerous position and it's better not to do this. And the solution, as I said previously, is just put your thumb up. And also put, put thumbs up below, like this video. It's time to put what has been said into practice. You will see all mistakes on your screen so that you can take a screenshot. If you want to be able to do more reps in pull-ups, then definitely watch this video about step-by-step -step guide how you can increase your number of reps in pull-ups. Utilizing advice, tips, tricks and exercises from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, hit thumbs up and write a different comment below to promote this video on YouTube farther and farther again we almost hit 500 subscribers thank you a lot guys it means a lot for me we are getting closer to 1000 this is our primal goal for today see you in the next video thank you a lot for being here success to you man